What's up guys, it's me Kulovcin. Welcome to another video in my series. Today is the 15th of June. It's a beautiful Saturday. I'm very happy to be back here in the garden and the country outside of the stress and boringness of a large city. Actually went into the forest yesterday and I finally came back with a full basket of mushrooms. Words just can't describe how excited I am. I know I've said it multiple times, but <laughs> the mushroom season is now truly online. And that is due to the fact that actually I was able to find every single mushroom that actually grows here during the season of summer and autumn. The mushroom I'm most excited about is the red cap mushroom or red cap saber scaber stock. This is by far my favorite mushroom in the whole world. I used to love this mushroom as a kid. It's just so beautiful. Like you have that orange or reddish cap and a beautiful white leg with black spots on them. And it's just such a beautiful mushroom and finding it really just I don't know, I just stop for a second and I admire it and I'm like, damn. So finding these guys is always a special moment for me in the year. So I'm very happy about it. We have a full basket of mushrooms that we need to process somehow. I was actually able to convince my girlfriend to make some breaded mushrooms or mushroom schnitzels, I guess you could call it. So I'm extremely excited about that. It's just delicious. It's the same as if you grab a piece of chicken and bread it with egg and breadcrumbs and then you fry it and you have a really delicious meal. But this is with mushrooms. You really cut them uh, kind of thick and do the same thing and fry them. And it's just delicious. It's perfect meal. Like it's a great substitute for meat, honestly. So. I'm very excited about that and without further ado, let's begin the video and let's do some gardening, guys. All right, guys, as soon as I came here yesterday, I actually noticed that the service berry on our bush is already nice and ripe. So the first, first thing I'm gonna do today is to harvest it. I brought a bowl here. So service berries are very delicious. So I really can't wait to harvest and eat these. So yeah, let's begin by harvesting these these little guys. All right guys, here is our lunch. As I said, it's delicious fried mushrooms. And I have a bit of mayonnaise here to dip in. Mm. Yeah guys, you don't know what you're missing when if you don't have fried mushrooms. Mm. Very delicious, crunchy. And um, might even say it tastes better than chicken tenders. <laughs> mm. So yeah, I'll finish this meal off and then we'll continue with some more gardening.
All right, guys, next up is to finally transfer the nettle tea that I've been brewing for about six weeks into some containers to then use as a fertilizer in the garden. First time I showed you the nettle tea was in my initial video that was recorded on the 2nd of May. So this just means that it's been for six weeks and the recommended time is four to six weeks. So now it's finally time to, it should be all brewed up, filled with nutrients that the plants are gonna love. The nettle tea is mainly great for leafy greens. So everything in the raised bed on the right is mostly gonna appreciate that. We have a lot of spinach, salads, the rocket, the chard, the bok choice, all of them are really gonna appreciate this nettle tea. So I'm gonna transfer it from this, it's a 20 liter container. Um, it's halfway full, so there's roughly 10 liters of our nettle tea. So I'm gonna be transferring it into the green canister. And from there, I'll transfer it into the bottles. I have four bottles here. Three of them are two liter ones. The other one is a liter and a half. So that is seven and a half liters. Then I'll immediately use one liter to water the garden and anything that's left over, I'll just dump on the compost because I don't think I'll need as much. And we can immediately use this to brew another different type of tea. For example, from the comfrey, which is an all rounder. You can use it to fertilize anything. So yeah, I'm just gonna begin getting rid of this nettle tea. It's gonna be really pungent, but it's gonna be great for our vegetables. Good morning guys, it's Sunday, June 16th, and here I have my jerky that I've been dehydrating overnight, and now it's ready. And as you can see, it's very crispy and delicious. And all I did with this is just to submerge it for a couple of hours in some soy sauce, a bit of any leftover seasoning you might have that you find tasty and some garlic and that's it then i stick it in the dehydrator mm. we have perfect delicious jerky and you can use any meat you want honestly i always use the cheapest meat that you can find in the supermarket this one is from pork chops the good thing about them is that they already come cut really thin so all i had to do was to just tenderize it a little bit with a mallet and then it becomes really thin and it's perfect and ideal for for drying it in the dryer just like this there's not really much work involved so i'm very excited about jerky i love it so much mm. oh yeah that was perfect just what someone needs to start the day so I'll turn this off and put it in a bowl and save it for later.
All right, guys, seeing as how we have successfully transferred our nettle tea to fertilize our leafy greens, now it will be time to get rid of all this comfrey here as well as here. And I will be making some comfrey fertilizer out of it the same way as I did with the nettles. Just submerge them in water and let that stew for about four to six weeks. And this comfrey that's over here and here and there's some more over there. It is not uh, the usual place for the comfrey. Like uh, the comfrey was planted in that corner over there initially. And since then it has seeded across this uh, across this flower patch. So I will be getting rid of the comfrey in all of the areas where it shouldn't be in because it's intruding into the other plants and it should remain just in that corner. So this is perfect. So I'll be able to take them out and make some fertilizer for the garden. And the good thing about comfrey fertilizer is that it's an all-rounder. You can use it for absolutely anything. So it's just a perfect, perfect fertilizer for the garden. So let's go ahead and dig out these comfries. Now that the comfrey is out of the ground, I can actually begin to do the maceration process. But before I start with that, the first thing I'll need to do is to remove the roots and any soil that is still attached to it. I will not be using the roots in the maceration, or I actually might, but I'll need to thoroughly wash them to get rid of any soil and any impurities. And in addition to that, I'll also have to clean up the stems and the leaves with a bit of water just to make sure that any insects and any dirt, impurities and other things on the comfrey are out of it so that we can get the cleanest finished product that we can to have the perfect fertilizer. And lastly, the last thing to do would be to I will, I'll grab a shovel and I'll really make sure to jab the comfrey repeatedly to make sure to break it down as much as possible so that there's a high surface area for all of the processes to take place in the water. And that would be probably everything to make the comfrey tea, then just put it in the container and fill it up with water and let it do its magic for four to six weeks. And yeah, lastly, the one thing I really found out uh, right now, kind of a funny thing, is that I'm currently wearing a yellow shirt. And I know that I'll leave this shirt in Prague. I'll never be taking it here because I um, keep getting flooded by insects just jumping on top of me thinking I'm a flower. <laughs> so <laughs> it's very funny. It's all of those small black insects that are currently invading all of the zucchini and pumpkin flowers. So the comfrey is gonna be finished and we can do some more things on the garden.
right guys that is it for this week's video it's been a very tough weekend the weather has been very terrible it's attacking 30 degrees celsius here and it'll continue like this throughout the next week so i'm kind of very scared for the garden at the moment uh, hopefully i'll be able to return here on wednesday and water everything as soon as possible to make sure that nothing really dries out or dies from all of the heat and i wanted to do a lot more around the garden but then i realized it'll make a lot more sense to wait one more week because all of the spinach and bok choy and salads in the raised beds are actually really tall and they're shading the soil underneath very well i actually put my hand like during the biggest heat of the day like underneath all of that foliage and it was still nice and cold and moist underneath there so that's why i decided to leave everything as is at the moment because it acts as a living mulch ensuring that the temperature on the ground underneath is nice and stable it doesn't get out of control and the soil doesn't dry out as much as possible so before leaving i'll make sure to water everything as much as possible to make sure it's really wet and it doesn't dry out as fast and hopefully we can return here on wednesday and ensure everything is nice and safe so i'm gonna be in stress in prague but it is what it is hopefully everything works out so finally i actually harvested a lot of the salad leaves uh, harvested the salads in the in the containers as well as the romaine lettuce that is completely out of control it's actually massive like those leaves are huge and we'll be taking them to Prague to eat throughout the week so that's very nice and lastly I actually saved the comfrey roots because I know it's a medicinal herb and the root can be used in various ways, either to make a tonic or a balm. So I'll do some research in Prague, see how it's made, and maybe I'll, I'll make something next weekend with it. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I would highly appreciate it if you could like, comment and subscribe. And... I wish you a lovely day and I'll see you next week guys, take care.